Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from Catarlisons365.com. Today we are going to learn how to play 8675309 Ginny by Tommy Two-Tone. So this one's a pretty fun one. It's got some cool guitar stuff in it. We're in standard tuning, but they're actually a quarter step off. And you know, old analog days and they redo it in the different tape speeds or whatever. Or maybe it's intentional. But um, if you try to play exactly with the album, it's not going to sound quite right. But they are playing in standard. It's just a little bit off. So we're going to learn it in standard anyway. So let's check out here. We're going to play this intro lick, which happens a lot in the song. As I show you these different parts, a lot of times in the song, you'll hear one or two of them going on at the same time, or sometimes three at the same time. So um, you'll be able to recognize it pretty easy, what's going on. And so if you have multiple guitar players, you guys can just each check apart. So let's start with this intro. It's going to pick... Uh, you're going to play 6th uh, fret on the G, 5th fret on the B, and then the open high E string. And then just change it to the 7th fret on the G, pick across those strings again, back to the 6th fret one. So we have this. Then come down to the 4th fret here, 4th on the G and the B, and the high E string you open. You're going to pick the G, B, high E, then the B, the G string. And start over. All right, so that goes on during the chorus as well as the intro here. And this is also the chorus riff that they kicked into at the beginning of the song. So that's just the power chord here at the second foot off the sixth string. Then a power chord version of the D. So all you need to, it's a D chord, but you're just picking the D string, G, and the B string. A power chord. Hit that a couple of times. And then the second fret power chord off the A string. Well, let's repeat that. So that kind of serves as the verse as well too, just not this big huge sounding version of that. Now there is a fill that happens a lot that you know happens multiple times. It sounds like this. All right, so that's just during, it happens during the verse. You pick the sixth fret on the G, fifth fret on the B. Pick it a couple times. Slide it down to the two frets. Then the uh, second fret on the B and the G together. So the fourth fret on the D. Then you're gonna play the second fret on the G and the uh, third fret on the B. Back to that fourth fret on the D. So we have this. Back to the two second fret ones on the B and the G together twice. And then the fourth fret now to end it with on the G and the D together. So with this. One more time. All right. Then we get to the uh, the chorus or oh, the pre-chorus. What sounds like this? goes into the chorus there. So it's just an E major chord. Turn across that, and then the open D, then four on the A, open A, and second from the A. So all together. All right, then you go back to the E, to the A major chord, and the D major. Back to the low E. I mean that E major chord. And back to that little melody we did earlier. And then that takes you into the core, the chorus. All 
Now going back to the second verse, we start to introduce another guitar layer. It sounds like this. Somebody's been listening to Crazy Train. So we basically are gonna have this um, kind of a really muted riff and it continues to go on to this. Like I said, you got this still thing going on, different parts of the song, so just listen for that. But we have uh, always going to be coming back to the second fret here on the low E string in the beginning. So we have second fret on the A to that second, I'm mean, sorry, fourth fret on the A to the second fret on the um, low E string. Then the fifth fret, back down to that previous note. Then the fourth fret again. Then the second fret, so roll over to that second fret on the A back down to that previous note. So we have So every single one was done twice. All right, then it starts over. But instead of the last one there, we go it goes two, four, two on the A to two on the low E. All right, so then you just repeat that over and over again, both of those parts together. Just repeat. All right, so we have, that pretty much takes care of all the verse and the um, chorus riffs and that in the intro. Now we have uh, a bridge section. It comes in right before the solo. Sounds like this. All right. So that's just a C sharp minor bar chord. Now a full uh, five string bar at the fourth fret there. 2nd fret on the B, 6th fret on the D and the G, and you pretty much most of the time you're, you kind of strum the chord and then just picking across downward from the 1st, 2nd, to 3rd string. Same thing on the E. Then the F sharp minor chord. Full bar there to 2nd fret, 4th fret on the D and the A there. Then the A major chord and the B major chord. We have this all together. Now just start those chords over again. And you get to the F sharp. Start kind of chugging on that thing a little bit. And then the, the final two chords you can just kind of building up the tension to go back into that riff. Which leads us into the guitar solo. So let me play through the guitar solo for you real quick and then we'll take a look at it. So it's pretty simple here. We're gonna do a slow bend at the ninth fret on the D string. That's the first phrase. We're gonna do that first. Kind of slow half step bend at the ninth fret to the seventh fret on the D, and then play nine seven nine on the A. Back to a slight bend again at the seventh fret on the D. All right. Next phrase. All right, so we're going to slide into the 11th from the 9 on the D. Play 9 a couple times on the G. Back to 11 on the D. Back to that 9 on the G. Then do a trill 9 to 11 on the G. Play that 11. And then the 10th fret on the B, just a slight, slight little bend there and, and kill the sound. All right, next phrase. All right, so it's a whole step bend at the 12th fret on the B. 
and release that bend. Play 10, 12 on the B, then 11 on G to 10 on the B, then 9, 11 on the G. Then 11 on the D to 9 on the G to slide down from 11 to 9 on the D. All right, the next phrase. All right, so the seventh fret real quick on the D string. Then you slide from 9 to 11 on the D. Then jump back and slide from 9 to 11 on the G. Then 9, 10, 12 on the D. Then 9 on the high E string. And then whole step bends there at the 12th fret on the high. And hold that last one. Notice I was killing those. After you play it, release the pressure. So kind of staccato the notes. Let that note, last one ring out. Then they go back into the, uh, uh, basically the pre-chorus, but the solo is still going on over it. There's a bend at the 22nd fret, uh, two bends, whole step bends. I only have 21 on this guitar, but I'll do the bend anyway. All right, so grab your 22nd fret, two whole step bends there. And then the last little part of the solo. Whole step bend at the 17th fret on the high E. Then play 17, 15, and then I'll bend and release at the 17 again. Pull off to 15, to 17 on the B. All right, so just go through the song, listen to it, uh, and try to figure out where all these parts we learned out here. You know, you have stuff that's the intro to song, but it's also part of the chorus. Um, and then they start adding this little thing in. And you got to know when that's being played and there's still stuff going on. The, the old stuff we learned is going on with it. All right. But I'm sure you guys, um, it's pretty easy to really get a good version of this just on one guitar if you want to. All right. I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.